you must bring together cultural professionals and scientific professionals. I'm currently what I call an earth science researcher, and so I work on projects where the, what we try to do is new science and new earth at the same time. Um, and my background is in astronomy and astrophysics. That was my original training. I worked for 30 years building telescopes and for satellites. Uh, but now I work on projects with composers and artists and other kinds of scientists. I grew up in a home uh, where my father was both a scientist and an artist at the same time. And so I call this hybrids. Uh, um, and so from a very early age, uh, it would seem normal to me uh, that if you are interested in two things, you find a way to keep them going. Um, for some people, they are focused on one thing and that's fine. <laughs> um, and so. Um, I became the editor of an art journal, and so I did a lot of work with artists using new technologies, which of course astronomers also use new technologies. Uh, and so what was interesting is the artists and the scientists using new technologies had shared problems, shared languages of way of doing things. Digital media is used by astronomers and by artists now. Um, and so very quickly I got interested in how you could cross-fertilize uh, the science and the art. Unfortunately, the way uh, our school systems have developed, both for young people and older people, we organize uh, schools into science and art. And often for a 13 or a 14 year old child, we say you have to choose. You know, in a city like uh, Medellin, uh, it's a growing city, uh, you're trying to do sustainable development, uh, inc increase everybody's income. This requires not only business, but also cultural change. Uh, and so uh, how you bring the cultural professionals and the scientific professionals to the table to work on these different difficult problems that a city faces. It's, it's not an either-or question of is, it, is the art in the service of science or is the science in service of art. There are different practices that we need to encourage.